uh, we were supposed, supposed to be a spring breakfast, but it doesn't look like we're anywhere near there. We'll be talking to Minister Kent about that in a minute. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to welcome you and uh, thank you for coming on this uh, cold Saturday morning. Uh, my name is Bill Ayad. I'm a past president of the, uh, the P.N. Carlton Conservative Association. I'm here today. Uh, I'm also the, out, uh, the Outreach and Community Affairs Chair. Uh, I'm here today with uh, our president, Liz McKinnon, and uh, my colleagues from the board of directors. Uh, we welcome you again. Um, I just wanted to uh, say a, a special thanks uh, before we begin to uh, Lollicker's Catering for the great food this morning. Thank you very much. And also uh, a big thank you to uh, the Bar David Legion, Branch 61, and David Cole, who uh, pre prepared everything for us this morning. Uh, we welcome you with us today. Uh, we're here today with our guest speaker, Minister uh, Peter Kent, uh, Environment Minister. Uh, this morning we were to be joined by uh, uh, Senator Marjorie LeBreton, uh, but she just sent me an email. Uh, she's not feeling well this morning, but she sends her regards and uh, she was looking forward to the minister's speech and uh, hearing about uh, our conservative record on the environment, uh, which not too many people talk about, and especially not on the left anyway. Uh, anyhow, and of course, we have the uh, hardest working MP on the hill with us, our own uh, Pierre Paglia. Pierre tells me that he would like to be referred to now as the best looking MP on the board. Again, I just uh, wanted to uh, say that we were supposed to be having this breakfast, supposed to be spring weather, but I just, I certainly hope you had a good winter and uh, thanks to uh, Ministers Kent, good work on the environment. Yeah. There was a to total absence of global warming. Uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm just looking outside, my uh, Dave called from the Legion and I, we ride motorcycles and Dave was reminding me that last year we were out with our bikes on March 7. I don't think that's going to happen this year. We'll be lucky if it's May 7. Anyhow, again, the Minister has done such a great job on the environment. Ottawa had a typical uh, snowy and cold winter. I mean, it's been so cold this year that Liberals all over town have been seen putting their hands in their own pockets. <laughs> now, I just, I'm not going to be too long because we're short on time. Uh, I hope you do enjoy the, uh, the breakfast. I mean, uh, most of you, Minister Kent, I remember uh, when I was uh, younger, and uh, he was a young man too. Uh, my, mo my mother used to come home, and the first thing she did was turn on the TV to The Young and the Restless, followed by her favorite news program uh, with Peter Kent. I mean, she would have loved to be here today, but... Uh, Anyway, I'm used to, like you, yourself, I'm used to seeing him uh, through a glass tube, but we're glad that he's here with us today. Uh, I'm just going to read you a brief bio. I'll be, uh, be very brief. Oh. You know what? Keep it for <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Live TV. Did I, I was young when I was watching, I didn't know where my glasses were. Uh, Peter Kent was first elected to the House of Commons in 2008. Following his election, uh, was sworn in as cabinet minister, uh, first ever minister of state of foreign, for foreign affairs for the Americas. In his role, he was responsible for spearheading the government's ambitious effort to further democracy, security, and prosperity in the hemisphere. No stranger to the region, uh, Peter covered stories throughout Central and South America as a correspondent for NBC during the 1980s. In January 2011, Peter was appointed as Canada's Environment Minister. Prior to his election to the House of Commons, Peter was a broadcast journalist having spent more than 40 years working as a writer, reporter, producer, anchor, and senior executive in Canada and the United States and around the world. Uh, Peter won a number of awards over the course of his career for his insightful reporting, including the prestigious Robert F. Kennedy Award. He also is a member of the Canadian Broadcast Hall of Fame, a passionate believer in community involvement. Peter act actively supports a number of charitable organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me give our guest, our good friend, uh, Minister Kent, a warm Nepean Carlton welcome. <laughs> 